Hey, my name's Corey, and I'm a telescope boss. My middle name is Hoss. <laughs> now, I got an Orion XX16G that I'm using nowadays, and uh, I love this observing chair because, well, you know, when you're observing, the height of uh, objects that you look at changes, you know? Like, last night I was looking at M8, the Lagoon Nebula, and I could just kind of center, center the chair like so, you know, and it was like perfect, you know? And then I, I was, uh, you know, Venus and the moon were way down really, really low, so you had to come down here you know, and it's just all in one, just simple, you know, you can go, you can go high, you can go low, and it's just comfort all around, it's very versatile, I definitely recommend you purchase one. You're going to save your back and, and view comfortably. What I like and recommend is the overpriced Starbound Observing Chair. Yeah, the cool thing about this is it's so much better than just a, like a step ladder because you always have that space in between steps where it's just awkward, it's just going to kill your back, you know, but this is... You can go anywhere, literally, you know. So that's that's a nice feature that I like. You now it's an awesome chair. You know, if you're viewing way down on the on towards the horizon, you can lower it right here, and even down here, it, it holds a, a full man's you know weight. Ah, uh, yeah. And 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 way up here, you know, you can you can just imagine me by my eyepiece of my telescope, you know. Just comfortably observing, you know, saving my back. You know, a couple things about this. It's, it is pretty expensive, but I mean, it's worth it. I'm definitely glad I have it. Um, some of these, some of these strips, this bolt came off before, you know, and I lost it. And I just put another one on there. And this over here, I lost, I lost this other screw. And so I just like put a, put the wrong size screw in there and just, I just duct taped it just to keep it in there. I mean, it sucks to, the guy at the hardware store said that, you know, they must have made that screw especially for this chair because you couldn't find, you know, the right screw. But it kind of sucks to have to duct tape a super expensive chair. But, I mean, it works. You know, I, I have people stand on this chair. Uh, it's, you know, and, and I think it'll tilt to the side like this. And it'll get it'll get jacked up, you know. It's kind of not supposed to do that. I think these, I'm not even sure really what these do. They, if they lock it in or, or, or what they do. But, yeah, you know, and also this thing gets super wet. So carry a towel with you. This will get covered in dew. I usually just use my shirt and just should be more prepared and use a towel. But I mean, this chair is awesome, though, man. I mean, I've, ha I've had kids stand on it to get the right height at the eyepiece, you know, because i got a large scope. But I would, I would highly recommend this, man. I'm so thankful. You know, a lot of people fabricate their own chairs. You know, I'm, I'm not handy at all. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and spent the money. But it's paid for itself so many times. I'm so thankful. It really makes a difference in... You know, just getting a, a quick, uncomfortable glance, you know, or rather rather than just concentrating on the object and really observing and squeezing out every detail. I mean, if you're comfortable, you're going to be, you know, much happier and you're probably going to see a lot better and a lot more for longer periods of time.